Boiling. Boiling is a phase change, a change from one state of matter to another. In this case, we're, the matter changes from liquid form to gas form. And it does this when it gets enough kinetic energy where the molecules are moving fast enough where they can basically build enough space to become a gas. And that point we call the boiling point, that amount of energy. So let's look at some factors that can influence the boiling point. Um, if we've got, let's say we've got a pot of water and we're applying a lot of energy to it, those molecules are going to start to move faster and faster and faster. And when they reach a certain amount of kinetic energy, they're going to have enough energy and enough pressure where they're going to become gas. And that's when you start to see the bubbles forming in the pot. And those bubbles are going to get bigger and collect with other bubbles and you're going to see the formation. The bubbles you see in a boiling liquid are actually the water vapor escaping from the pot. Okay? Well, there's some, some factors that can affect the boiling point. Uh, one thing is the pressure that's causing those water molecules that become liquid um, can be countered. If we have more pressure on here and apply pressure, we can actually prevent the boiling from occurring. So if you've ever cooked with a pressure cooker, a pressure cooker basically increases the pressure as you're cooking and what that does is that allows the, the container, all the water in the container, to go above water's boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius and this cooks food a lot faster. Uh, other factors that can affect it are lowering the pressure. So let's say we have less pressure. In this case, let's say we're up in Denver, a mile above sea level, where there's a lot less atmospheric pressure. In this case, that water will actually start to boil at a lower temperature, at 95 degrees Celsius as opposed to 100, which means that if you're cooking food, you really want it to reach a certain temperature, an amount of energy, and when it reaches that boiling point, it's going to stop and it's not going to increase anymore because all that energy is now being used to convert the liquid molecules into gas. So it's harder to cook food. You have to cook food longer at high elevations because the lower pressure means that it's going to boil at a lower temperature. And you'll see this sometimes when you look in recipes if they'll talk about high elevations require longer cooking times. And it's due to that lower pressure.